I wanted to play Lee because he knows very firmly who he is. Woo! I just wanted to walk into every scene with that energy. I describe his dark materials as an epic coming of age story that happens to be set in a universe that is not like our own. A world where our soul lives outside of our body and assumes an animal form as your demon. When you're young, your demon changes shape. When you reach adulthood, your demon will at some point reach a final form. And this notion of what if your soul wasn't some abstract thing that lived inside you, but something that was with you always and you related to. You know, Lee spends a lot of time up in the air, so he talks to Hester a lot. Hester! I'm right here. Are you sure Yorick will want us making trouble? Say what you like about the North. Wherever you go is guaranteed to be a bar full of men who should be at home but aren't. I think what everyone loves about Lee is he's got his own internal set of principles that he will not bend for anyone. And that makes him a lonely man in a tough world. Grubbing for shady business, I'm not. I'm just looking for some conversation, you see. When I read Lee Scores Beyond the Page, I think what jumps out is that he's a bit of a rascal and good at picking a pocket. I like to think I made my point. And what point was that? Three watches in a wallet. And one of the biggest, most exciting things was bringing York, an armored polar bear, to life because it's going to take a lot to make his freedom the most exciting thing you've ever seen. He's a bear. He can't be a slave. Not to you or anyone. Lee Scoresby is a little bit the Han Solo of this series. And once he meets Lyra, I think he realizes that he can be a part of something bigger than himself. Mr. Scoresby, it occurred to us that the help of an aeronaut might be of some use. We'd be grateful for your services. I think that's the most important thing, is to feel Lee's love for Lyra, the way in which it grows, and how it totally upends his world. People need our help, Yorick. Let's go get it. Hey, it's Lisa. Did you know that the TV show with the most amount of Emmy Awards is Saturday Night Live? Since its beginnings in 1975, the show has won 54 awards and has been nominated 242 times. Now, do you like my shirt? Are you a sleep-deprived binge watcher? You need to get one of these shirts. Click on the link in the description.